Yo guys and Toto, and welcome uh, to another Hoi4 video, I guess. Don't know why I said I guess. But we're going to be playing the Soviet Union today because I have another achievement tutorial to do. I mean, if that wasn't obvious. Alright, so we're going to be doing the Warsaw Uprising. So I pretty much just... We're going to be... And now this, this uh, strategy I've gotten here is uh, actually not... I, I didn't do this myself. The ones I've done before are ones that I've done through my own practice. This strategy is actually not mine. I, I got it from a Reddit post. Actually, it was a comment to a Reddit post, which the Reddit post no longer exists. But, but the Reddit post has been deleted, but the comment is still there, and I will link the Reddit post, and I'll probably show it up here. So pretty much what you need to do is, as a Soviet Union, you need to conquer Poland and keep them as a puppet in a state bordering Germany. You need to then declare war on Germany with Poland as your puppet, then have Germany annex them and have resistance at maximum Poland. That way, that one, with the 100% resistance in Poland, there's, there's a very high likely chance that they will then up, start an uprising. Which will be against you, but <laughs> so let's gather all of our forces on the Polish border. But first of all, we're going to take some units off. Motorized, we're going to put all of them over in Leningrad. The rest of our infantry, we will divvy up. So this force is going to be over in Leningrad as well. We're just going to give them their own army group, and these three will be there. We put the tanks in that army group. Grab the electronic mic, whatever. <laughs> Fix machine tools, and I'll actually be switching to trench warfare. This is something I like to do a lot. I like to have grand battle plan as a Soviet Union. I don't know if that's a good or bad strategy, but it works for me. So, so we're going to only be building mills. We're going to focus our guns. We're going to yeah, you know, just have like switch this to your tack bomber. You don't really need the strap bombers. Artillery above it. Five on that, five on that. Take one off of the motorized, so there's five on support equipment. And we'll put our light tanks up to five. Then you will have that. We're gonna unite all of the, our, our entire navy into the Bolt Bolti Baltiski Baltiski flot. Okay. <laughs> unite all of our planes. Moscow, because it's faster. Actually, technically, it'd be faster just to deploy them, but. Like delete and redeploy them. All right, Solemn Constitution is finished. Also, this is another word. It's a 1936 Constitution. Because <laughs> it was made in 1936. We're going to go War Economy. That way we construct military factories way faster. Oh, yeah, I, I completely forgot to say we're doing a five-year plan. And uh, next one, we'll grab the mechanical computing. And uh, I'm just fine Poland. <laughs> and I am uh, slipping up. Put Tukhachevsky in charge of our main force on Poland. And our secondary force, under Vlasov, we will put a naval invasion over to Danzig. And we'll delete this fallback line, because that's going to screw me over later if I don't give it a... I think I'll promote Popov. This is going to be a four attack at Field Marshal. Next thing we will grab is actually going to be our guns, which will give us extra defense. And so five-year plan is finished. We are going to do collectivist propaganda. Now this might be the same weird because I mean it might be better to actually choose the positive heroism, but I want that research slot faster, and I like the extra stability I'm going to get in political power, where that positive heroism doesn't give you. And 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 we won't really like I'm not probably not going to grab Rokosovsky anyway. I think I'm going to I'm going to kill him, so there's no point in getting him because I'm going to I'm going to keep Tukhachevsky. Oh yeah, and the rubber. Let's just import from Malaya. Okay, grab grand battle plan. Okay, that might not finish in time, so I'm actually gonna switch this to interwar artillery quickly. I want to have that as well before I finish, like before I start the war. We have 150 political power, so we're going to grab a Kalinin. All right, collectivist propaganda is finished, so we're gonna go for armament expert. Uh, eff expert effort. <laughs> I can't speak. Uh, no, apparently I can't read. And we are more so what we're going to do is we're going to grab this person the silly blucher will give us some division speed all right so our infantry equipment is finished 
Now we go grab concentrated industry. Okay, when this is almost finished, just put the put some anti-air here and put three factories on them. See our interwar bombers are almost finished production. Probably get our planes going here. On air superiority and on uh, part of Poland, because that will help in your invasion. All right, armament's finished. We're gonna go for the research slot. We have extra factories, so we're gonna put five on military factories, five more on artillery, five more on support equipment. Move our anti-air up. Put five, two more on that one. Probably just double up on light tanks and put everything up. Planes. I just want to get that gun deficit out. Uh, as you just want to fix that as best you can at the beginning of the game. Another thing you could do is you could switch military police over. Because that would actually... Uh, I mean, it would use less infantry equipment, but it does take a bit more support equipment for these guys. And I'm actually going to do that because, I, honestly, I just prefer to have a, these kind over... And a uh, bad idea. <laughs> Alright, so... Put our navy on naval assistance. Eh, yeah, why not? We'll do uh, ground pounder, this person. Set them to go. We'll set them to go as well. And we'll declare war. The reason why I'm telling these guys to go down here is because they'll pin them down and we have give our, we give our units over here time to invade. Oh yeah, and Popov, I should uh, give him aggressive salter. Offensive doctrine. That. Four attack, a level two general, a uh, field marshal. You guys go there. Aggressive, and we're gonna put our tanks over. We're gonna send our tanks first. They're gonna use the convoys first. That way the blue boys get their second. And we'll set these guys to aggressive now. They'll just attack whenever they have enough organization to do so. That way we can pin the guys in the east as best. And our tanks will have enough time to come over and wreck Poland. Ah, that's what's hurting me over here. Okay. But moment I break out of that. Yeah, there we go. Alright, it's finished. We will grab the um, improved railway. And yeah, our tanks are just blitzing them now. This is why I never rely on this front. I always have a naval invasion to kill Poland because it, it's so much faster to just kill them through a naval invasion. Oh, all right. So now what we could do is we could take all that, and I will leave. Probably, I don't need to, but I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna leave Poznan. What I did in my run, the Poznan and puppet them. You need to annex all of it. Like, you, you need all, as much of this Polish territory as you can. Guys on that front. And put these guys on... Uh, what this, These guys I'm going to use a fallback line for. And we're going to justify on Germany. Alright, so now the important part of this is going to come into effect now. What we need to do is we need to set this to no garrisons whatsoever. This is going to hurt severely, but well, holding this territory is going to make it hurt severely. I don't think I want to hold that. Yeah, what I'm going to do instead, I think what I'm going to do is put these guys over in Lukachevsky, and we're going to just hold that. How about that for a front line, huh? Oh yeah, and uh, once this war is finished, you can go and switch over to your civilian production. And I, yeah, just ignore this unless you want to repair it but it'll probably just break the moment you repair it anyway so what's there's really no point in doing that all right so let's get our concentrated industry and we will get improved machine tool also grab the captive industry for civ production i think what i'm going to do is i'm going to make these guys more prepared for defense so i'm going to give them that and probably a motorized recon i don't have any armored cars and I'll just tell him, hey, train. Oh, and not aggressive. That, that's bad. Very aggressive. Now we're going to grab... Yeah, it's not time yet. So grab the infrastructure effort. Oh, yeah, Spain. <laughs> well, I'm going to be at war, so no need to send volunteers to Spain. And I just got a ton of XP, so it 
Do I really need you? Need to uh, go to do that? Probably shouldn't take away the artillery. That that'd be good to have too. Oh, and our anti-air. There. And why not? I'll just deploy them immediately. Infrastructure's effort's over. Now we're going to do the Great Purge. Even though technically this should not be called that. It should be called the uh, it should be called the Moscow Trials, but whatever. Instead of the Great Purge, because the Great Purge was the Western name of it. Grand battle plan's finished. We will now go grab prepared defense. I'm drop this down to 20. That way more gets put into our other piece of equipment. And I'm going to take those off of artillery because we need a lot more support equipment. Ooh, I almost clicked the wrong one by accident because uh, they just popped up randomly. We'll do Khrushchev. See ya. Oh, thank you, Hitler. I don't know why you gave me stuff, though. You hate us. And yeah, no time to do it. No point. All right, that was a great, that was a great uh, thing you did for. Here, let me let, let, let me uh, let me repay it back. Hey, you uh, Poland, getting you? Oh, look at all that resistance! Just, just kill them. <laughs> just kill. Them. Oh, thank goodness! Yes, they've started to move in. Thank goodness, they actually started to move in. Okay, I'm now I'm gonna relinquish control. Need Poland to capitulate. Just, just kill them, Germany. Come on. The AI doesn't like if if they don't win within like ten days, they they just give up. They they stop attack. I don't get it. They hardly ever attack for like long periods of time. Like unless they win really quickly, they just they give up. There you go. All right, so Poland capitulated. My supply is horrible. Get the tanks out of here. Put them over in like a Wazir. Oh, go put him in Minsk. Go to Minsk. Why can't, why can't you, uh, railway? Railroad. Come on. Can't you railroad? Oh, the infrastructure is completely gone. That's probably why. Fine, go, go here. Go here then. Oh, not you. Your name is not Tank. Okay. So now go to Mozir. And then you're gonna to go to Minsk. They still won't reload. I'm done. Oh yes, I forgot. I must call Tanutuva into the war because they're going to be a completely 100% reliable ally that I can always I... give them control of a. St what? I don't control any states. Why is that an option? <laughs> Unfortunately for you, in Germany, I have Tanutuva as my ally. Golia, thank you. Thank you, my friend. Thank you for your contribution. Go sit over in Korea. Boom! There we go. There's the uh, there's the, the there's the Warsaw uprising. It may not be a good uprising, but it's an uprising. That's the that's the achievement. Just like the real Soviet army. Now, I hope you guys think th uh, you guys enjoyed. Leave like did. Thanks for watching. Set it in order. I'm I'm not gonna back off now, and I'll see you guys in the next one. <laughs>